two stories to close, and this is on leading and keeping A players. Don't surround a great game with chihuahuas. So now we're coming full circle, right? We're not, we're not so much focused on the recruiting piece. My wife and I um, were out socially. We ran into a friend of ours, somebody who was, I've also done some work with. She is a financial analyst. She works in a, worked in a department of 400 other, or 399 other financial analysts. Big, big company. And I said, hey, how are things going? She said, great. And we got to talking. And it turned out they had just had performance reviews. And uh, I said, well, how'd you do in your review? She said, well, great. I got, the, I got the highest review possible. I'm in the ninth box. And I don't know if you're familiar with this uh, nine box performance review. But if you measure potential on the vertical axis, right, high potential, low potential on the vertical axis, and performance on the horizontal uh, axis, low performance on the left and high performance on the right, the ideal box to be in is high performance, high potential up in the upper right-hand corner, which means you're doing a great job in this job, and we think you could do a great job in, for many jobs to come. We really think you could be promoted. I said, that's fantastic. Good for you. I said, just out of curiosity, 400 people in your department, how many other people were in that same ninth box? She said, none. I said, none? None. 400 people. I said, hmm, that's very interesting. She said, what's interesting about that? I said, well, listen, that's great for you. Very bad for your department. Because what that says to me is that your manager is not trying to hire A players. That manager has lurched inextricably into you. You're an accident. And typically, people like you don't stick around long. She smiled. She said, that's interesting, because I just got my resume out in the street. Six months later, she would accepted an offer. Her boss couldn't, tried to counter offer, couldn't keep her. Uh, her boss tried to counter offer, couldn't keep her. She ended up in the CEO's office. This is not, a, not an exaggeration. The CEO's office, multi-billion dollar company. He's providing counter offers, couldn't keep her. By the way, she said she was leaving for a better work-life balance. She then spent the next year in a new role, commuting Monday through Thursday from Philadelphia to the Midwest. What? <laughs> Smart, rational person. I'm, you know, people change jobs for emotional reasons. Here's my point for us. If you think you're going to get away with having your 1A player that you totally lean on and surrounding that person with a bunch of B- minus and C performers and that crutch is going to work, you're at serious risk. A players want to be surrounded by other strong people. That's part of our responsibility as leaders is to give them the kind of talent to work with. So let's not kid ourselves that we've got one and that's all we need because that one is at risk.